Alright hey guys, welcome to your ninth video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to import images into your game. Because, you know, these ovals and rectangles and plain old text, it's pretty interesting. But usually whenever you develop a game, you make the graphics somewhere else, like in a program, Photoshop or something, and you import those into your game. So what I did is I actually downloaded an image off the internet. So let me see if I could find it. Downloads. I just found, you know, the cutest, most handsome, smartest guy I could. And, you know, whoever the heck this guy is, that's who I got. But another thing, on a serious note, make sure that you work with pings. Because you can import, like, a JPEGs and GIFs and stuff. But ping is the best uh, resource graphic-wise to work with because, I don't know, it's just... In my experience, I don't have any, you know, technical rationale behind this. It just messes up the least amount of time. So go ahead and grab a simple ping image. And if you just want to, you know, download one off the internet, if you don't have Photoshop or anything, that's fine. Now what we need to do is we need to import it into our project. So look how easy this is. If you have Windows, just go ahead and grab your image and drag it over to your res file and drop it now it says okay do you want to copy the files or link to files go ahead and copy those and select okay and now if you go ahead and expand your uh, folder you can see that my face dot ping is now imported into our project so uh, that's a pretty cool thing about eclipse and windows it makes it really easy to import uh, images so now that we have it imported and accessible, what we want to do now is probably delete this oval. So actually, 200, 130. Let me go ahead and write those coordinates down. 200, 130. And that's where we're going to be putting the um, image instead. So as you can see, I deleted that oval. Hopefully, we can put the image of my face right there. So the very first thing you need to do before you work with any graphics or images is you need to make an image object so in order to do that we use the image class and then just go ahead and give it a variable name I'll just name it face you can name it whatever you want if yours is you know not my face now in order to create a new object from this class new image and the parameter that it takes is actually the location of the image now that's another cool thing of uh, having it right in our own project it's really easy to link to res slash uh, what was this my face dot ping so now we created an image object basically the face object represents this image right here so now all we do is draw it on the screen and we draw it pretty much just like any other thing we've been drawing use our graphics object because you know that's responsible for drawing everything on the screen even images or pings draw image is the method that you want to use and see that's why I hate when that pops up because we actually only need three parameters not 318 like they gave us by default so the first parameter is what is the object that you want to draw on the screen? Well, the object is, of course, this image object, which is my face. And the second two, of course, X and Y coordinates, 200 and 130. We're good to go. So that's basically it. Again, to recap one last time, go ahead and drag and drop an image, preferably a ping, into your folder right here. And then basically just go ahead and create an image object and use that a graphics object to draw on the screen so now hopefully there we go right there it actually works amazing I thought I was gonna mess that up somehow so look at our game now ham blaster 2.0 even though you know this is our very first version it just sounds cool are you ready to blast some ham here is you know probably a gun or something and here's the big old ham right here so anyways that's how you import images into your project or into your game in the next tutorial what we're going to be working on is actually doing something interactive with the user maybe animation clicking buttons having these things move around it's going to be awesome we got a long ways to go but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to add me on google plus follow me on twitter and send me you know five thousand dollars in mail if you want so i'll see you later